When I like a platform, I need to introduce it. I'm sure a lot of you already know about make.com, but I recently, I, I think it's about three weeks fr uh, back that I got familiar with the make.com. And the idea came from one of my users, yeah, I'm learning a lot from you, uh, that he wanted to integrate his telephony system to a CRM system that I was not aware even it has API or not. Um, so what, the, what he wanted was that when a call came to the CR, to the to this telephony system, of course it was not free switch, it was VCDR system, but anyway, they are the same. When a call came to the telephony system, he wants to notify the CRM and show a pop-up with the information of uh, that customer if he has already uh, called. Of course, this is something that I've done a lot, but I always integrate directly to the CRM. So uh, I needed to connect directly to the APIs of the CRM, and uh, do a lot of programming. But with this make.com platform, the life is so much easier. How it works? It provides a set of uh, UI, I can say, elements that in the backend, it's already do the programming for you. So you just need to work with some elements here and then integrate whatever you want. My point is that I want to know, I want you to know that there is such a platform, make.com, that you can use it for a lot of tasks. You can integrate to a lot of systems. You can integrate to Telegram, to, I don't know, to Salesforce CRM, to Suite CRM, to um, Microsoft Teams, to a monitoring system, to a lot of things. And you don't need to code for all of them. You just need to integrate, for example, let's say your free fish system to this platform and it has a lot of ways to do that and then this platform uh, that it can be via webhook it can be via uh, for example a file it can be via excel file and then this webhook can integrate to other systems and um, if you look at the graph here the free switch will integrate to a webhook in the make.com platform and then the webhook can integrate to for example telegram bot this is the example that I will explain to you and my point is that to show you how easy it is to use this platform and how powerful it can be. How you can use it to integrate your free switch with anything. That's why I choose the topic free switch integration. Free switch integration to anything. Free switch, you can change it to asterisk, to fusion PBX, to free PBX, to anything that you want, any telephony system that you want. Of course, you have different type of integrations. Here, I'm just showing you one method. For example, uh, for this example, I prepared, uh, when I'm receiving a call, I want that caller ID to be sent to a Telegram bot. I will show you again how you can, for example, at the same time save this message in an Excel file as well. Let's go and see how it works. I think that will be more exciting than I'm talking about how cool is this platform. Okay, let's start. Create an account in the make.com platform, use the link that I provided, and uh, let's see what we want to do. Let me show you. In the make.com, we need to create scenarios to do multiple integrations and automations. I have already created one, the one that we will go through that, but first I want to see, I want to show you how it will look like. I have a free switch system that uh, I can call it. The call came from the call will come from a trunk provider to my free switch system. My free switch system will be integrated to a webhook in the make.com. And web, this webhook can send, uh, is integrated to Telegram. We will see how to, but let's test it. What I want to achieve is that I will call a number, my free switch number. As we can see, at the same time, I received the message in the webhook, in the Telegram, and I'm receiving the call. And if I go to my Telegram, the message is received from my FS node 01. And this is the color ID. This is my number that I called uh, this uh, free switch. So I called free switch. It sends message to the webhook. And webhook uh, connected to Telegram. And I can receive the Telegram. Of course, in a service Telegram, I can put anything. I can put a CRM at the same time or or and, for example, I can send the message at the same time to Telegram, or for example, I can save it in an Excel datasheet in my Google Drive, right? Uh, let's see how we can do that. 
In order to do this integration and let's say a lot of automations, we need to create scenarios. There are two methods to do that. Create a uh, scenario by clicking plus here or use one of the templates. Mm, I really like the templates because there are a lot of things uh, ready. For example, here you can uh, search for the webhook and webhooks, and then you can see you can uh, have a webhook integration with, uh, I don't know, ChatGPT, with uh, um, Telegram, with WordPress, with L Facebook, with a lot of systems, with the Gmail. What we need to do, what we want to test here as a sample is to integrate with Telegram. So I create the webhooks to the Telegram. Uh, we can uh, start a, a guided setup, and because I already did it, so I will show you how to do that. What is a webhook? Let's assume it's a web URL. It's a URL that you can call and pass some information through that one. Um, let's add a webhook. Name it um, free switch telegram webhook. It's just a name. If you want to restrict your IP address, you can put the IP address of your free switch here. My free switch is in my home lab, so I don't have a public fixed IP address, so I don't, I don't want to put this IP restriction. And then I just save it. That's it. You can see it generated a URL that you can call from your free switch system. To verify this one, copy the URL and paste it here for now. When you paste it here, you can see the successfully determined. So you, our webhook is now ready. Let's continue. When we continue, it says, OK, now let's uh, connect your Telegram bot, your Telegram to the make.com. How we will do that? You need to create add, give it a name. Let's name it free switch, free switch Telegram bot. And we need a token. How we should generate this token? If you have already worked with the Telegram, you should know. You need to go to the bot father, just search for the bot father uh, username, and then uh, type s slash new bot. It will ask you to give it a name. Let's name it free switch. It should be unique. Let's name it omit free switch. Uh, let's say telegram underline uh, free switch. Omit free switch telegram. Just it needs a unique name. I will copy the same or okay, let's type it omit free switch telegram underline bot. It's already created and it will give us a token. We can copy this token and enter it here. So just give it a minute and yes, it's ready. Free switch Telegram bot. But we want to, when we are receiving a message, we want to send to a chat, right? Let's create a group. We can create a group or a channel. Ah, let's create a group. Let's name it free switch. Okay, we need to add the bot. The, the bot name was Omid uh, free switch Telegram, free switch Telegram. And just next, give it a name. I will give it a name as Omid Free Switch Telegram Group and create it. So I have an Omid Free Switch Telegram Group. What I need to do next is to go and edit the group and go to the uh, administrator and add my bot as an admin here and done. And also, I want to make it public. Let's edit this. And group type, let's make it public and create an ID for it. Let's name it free switch telegram omit. Yeah, just a unique name. Because we need this name, the name of the group. And done. So what I have done, I created the group, I added my bot here, I make my bot admin so that it can send message. Of course, you don't, you don't need to make it admin, but okay, you are a Telegram expert, you can <laughs> limit the restrictions. And then put the chat ID here with the at. At free switch Telegram omit. And then uh, you want to 
map the webhook parameters to this one. We didn't call this webhook yet because we didn't explore our free switch system yet. So just put it as text for now. Okay, our scenario is created, but our free switch now is need to connect this webhook. Let's connect to our free switch system. Okay, let me show you the code and how we can call a webhook. I create a shell script here that actually is quite easy. What I'm doing, I'm calling a webhook using the CURL command, it's calling a URL. And then I pass key one, key two, with the server name, because I have multiple free switch servers and I want to know uh, my customer called to which free switch server. And then I will pass the caller ID num, that of course in my free switch I will fill these two parameters. And then this is the content type via post method to the webhook, and this webhook is actually the webhook address of uh, make.com. Let me just uh, create a click again. Uh, it's already edit your scenario again. I want to edit it. And I want to copy this address and change the webhook, the address of the webhook. So actually this script is just calling a CURL command and passing two parameters, server name and color ID. And in my free switch system, it is a free switch dial plan, I think in my public, that XML. Okay, I, the call will come from the signal wire. This is my uh, trunk provider. And what I will do, I will log the color ID and destination number and with the application of the system, I'm calling this make.com.sh that is the CURL and I'm passing FS node because this is my first free switch server and the color ID number. And then I will bridge the call to user 1000, that the user 1000 is my uh, Zoeper here. So what it will do, the call will come in from the signal layer, it will lock some information that I want, it will call the webhook uh, via CURL, and then at the same time or after that, it will send the call to user 1000. But to uh, test this, uh, we can, before that, we can test our script. So if I go to the USR local SRC, and if I call make.com sh, and then I pass, because it will ask for a color ID number, let's say, uh, just a number, and color ID name, that is actually, it will ask for the server name. Let me just fix it now. Make.com, it should ask for the server name and color ID num. So if I enter this one, it will ask me to enter correctly with the sub pass server name and color ID number. So let's call it again, make that come. Server name, let's say FS node uh, 0001 and then color ID num, it can be just any number. And then call it. As we get accepted, it means that it called, it, it could connect to the webhook. And if I click run once here, it says use the existing data because I already have the data. I call that one, it called my webhook, it sends to a telegram, and if I go here, you can see, it sent a text, but just, it said text, T-E-X-T, why? Because we didn't match these keys in our Telegram uh, bot. What we need to do here, click here. Here, this is what we are sending. But now you can see we have the keys because we called with the key one and key two. This is the same parameters that in our S script I passed, key one and key two. So 
What I want to do here is that, so let's say I want to put it server name equals to key one and color ID number is key two and okay. And let's run it once again and run our script again. It sends, let's see what we receive right now. As you can see, server name, the value of the key one and the color ID name, the value of key two. So in a way, it's very smart. It automatically detects what parameter we are passing to the webhook and you can use that parameters. But let's uh, test with the free switch because what free switch is doing is just calling this make.com sh and it make.sh just call a CURL that passes this parameter. So it should work. Let's uh, fscli reload xml and call. Of course, we need to run this one, use the existing data. And if I can see here, the server name is fsnode01, and then the color ID is my phone number. That's, that's how you can integrate easily with the webhook to Telegram. But my main goal was to uh, introduce this uh, platform to you and show you how easy you can integrate your telephony system to different platforms. And you don't need really a lot of coding in this uh, type of integrations. Of course, um, I will try to prepare more complex examples, but I think anyway, you need to start from somewhere. And that's where I started to test and work with this platform. I hope this, is, this video is useful. And uh, if you have any questions or suggestions or feedback, please put in the comment of this video. Thank you and see you in the next video.